In 1985, Treadway is being pursued by the police in Mexico City while driving erratically and stealing a valuable item. He got hurt while trying to flee, so he gets the lighter from the car and uses it to cauterize the cut while he's still moving. Abel and Leona, two of Treadway's teammates, are being pursued by the police in a different vehicle at high speed. Treadway keeps moving quickly through the streets, and when he notices that a helicopter is also pursuing him, he puts his car in reverse and fires at the chopper to destroy it. Then he uses a tunnel as a shortcut, causing the wheels toss a ton of bricks at the police vehicles, causing them to smash. Treadway passes past a number of gates before arriving at a bridge, only to discover that the road is closed. Without any other option, he advises Abel and Leona to look inside if he fails. Then, as if summoning inner strength, he extends his hand out the window and jumps from the bridge, letting the car fall as he grabs hold of a crane. Abel and Leona become sidetracked while watching him crash and briefly pass out as a result. They clasp hands and make a pact to locate each other at the beginning, after discovering a man in a suit is pointing a particular gun at them when they awaken. Treadway observes everything from above as the man shoots them and the automobile catches fire. Evan says he dreamed the entire automobile chase, and it was as vivid as a memory when he finally wakes up in his bed. Evan, who has a severe mental disorder and must take medication daily, lives in New York City in the year 2020. He's having trouble finding employment, so today he goes to another interview. However, the same thing happens as usual. The manager did a background check and learned that Evan had previously been institutionalized following an incident at his previous job in which he broke a customer's arm who was harassing a waitress. Even though he claims to be better now, he is still rejected for the position. Evan spends the remainder of the day forging a katana for a gangster because he still needs money for his rent and medication. He is highly skilled as a bladesmith despite having no prior experience, and he has the impression that someone has done it before him. Later, when he delivers the katana to the gangster at his flat, the henchmen make fun of him, since they know Evan is knowledgeable about a variety of strange facts. Evan requests his medication as payment, but they only give him what they agreed upon. He wants to defend the agreement they reached, but he is immediately brandished with a pistol. The mob boss asks his lady to extend her arm, so he can test the katana on it. While they are still talking, Dot Evan jumps in to prevent such a bloodbath and grabs the katana. He uses it to chop the hand holding the gun and hold the boss hostage, stopping the other thugs from firing while the girl flees. Evan leaves the building and takes the medicine with him as the henchmen pursue him while firing in the air. Evan jumps over a wall after hearing the cops nearby. Suddenly, he freezes when he sees Treadway and Leona perched on the edge of a snow-covered cliff. Evan stumbles and loses his balance, falling painfully off the wall and onto a car. Evan is being kept an eye on by an unknown organization in the meanwhile. Porter, a scientist, uses a detector to find the location and sends Nora, a young woman, to save Evan. Later, Evan is detained for having illegal drugs in his possession. While sitting in the interrogation room, a man named Bathurst suddenly walks in brandishing a katana. Although he doesn't appear to be a police officer, he mentions previous meetings that Evan is unaware of and expects Evan to recognize him. Bathurst appears to be completely familiar with Evan's life, including the fact that he inscribed look and sight on his chest as a teenager and the time he attempted suicide by crashing his car for which Evan later received a steel plate in his skull. Then, after pulling many objects out of a bag, Bathurst asks Evan which one is his. Bathurst starts taking out bullets as well, leaving them on the table and only putting one in his gun, because Evan doesn't recognize anything. Bathurst then repeatedly repeating the same query, and each time Evan responds, I don't know, he fires. Evan is terrified and starts touching the items, till he finally finds one that causes him to have a lot of images. Bathurst, who is pleased that Evan is finally responding, shows that there isn't a bullet in the revolver, claims that Evan taught him the trick, and addresses Evan as an old friend, despite Evan's protests that he doesn't know him. Suddenly, a car crashes into the space and Nora emerges, killing a few security personnel before shooting Evan's handcuffs to release him. Nora causes a second wall to detonate in order to drive Evan through the police station as Bathurst pursues them with a truck. They are pursued throughout the building, trashing a number of rooms before jumping out the window and onto the road. As Bathurst continues to pursue them, Nora shows that the vehicle is quite sophisticated and turns on a wheel, so that Evan can drive while she fires an explosive at the police officers who are pursuing them. The automobile is bulletproof even when the police start firing. All of the police cars are pushed away by the explosion of the explosives, along with Bathurst's truck making it impossible for him to pursue them. They eventually reach a warehouse where an aircraft is waiting. Although Evan doesn't know the girl, Nora is very familiar with many aspects about him. She reveals that he is an infinite, 
which means he has the power of reincarnation, and that all of his recurring dreams are actual memories from his previous life, and that this is why he possesses skills he never learned. When Nora promises explanations for all the unusual things Evan has experienced in his life, Evan agrees to fly with her, despite his refusal to believe it and assertion that it is only a symptom of his psychosis. While the water continues to fall into Bathurst's face, which is covered with a rag, he is performing a bizarre ritual and screams while doing so, but he keeps asking for more. When his secretary Shin informs him that Evan has boarded a plane, Bathurst orders her to pursue him because he holds the key to locating the egg. When we turn to look at Evan again, he is traveling with Nora, who recounts him the entire tale. There are two types of infinites nihilists and believers among the world's less than 500 inhabitants. Nora is a member of the believers group, who believe it is their duty to use their gift to improve the world. Nihilist Bathurst desires the end of the world. They reach the hub the believers administrative center shortly after. Evan notices some people practicing martial arts with Kavik and Trace, while Nora is describing how Evan worked here in a previous life and some of them bow to him. They believe Evan is Treadway's reincarnation, as Nora explains, then Evan is brought to Treadway's former office, where he discovers a photo of himself with Abel and Leona. Nora says that she is Leona's reincarnation, and that the day Treadway saved Leona's life was the day Evan saw the snowy mountains. Garrick, the head of research, then gives Evan some additional information by displaying a hologram of Bathurst in earlier incarnations. It turns out that Bathurst and Evan were once close friends. However, Bathurst has since lost his faith and views reincarnation as a misfortune. As a result, he wishes to abdicate his authority. Evan is shown how the planet is destroyed in a fresh hologram, as Garrick recounts that Bathurst established a research facility where he created a mystical egg. There would be nothing for him to reincarnate into if this egg, a lethal weapon, managed to wipe out all life on Earth. Treadway stole the egg before he passed away in order to thwart this nefarious scheme, but he buried the location of the egg with him. Evan needs to quickly adequately recall his previous lives because they must first locate it. Porter is working at his office when suddenly arrows start shooting out of his hands. It turns out to be Bathurst, Shin, and their goons, who then hurt Porter in order to get him to tell where Evan is. Porter still won't speak after being struck and having honey poured into his mouth, so an enraged Bathurst grabs a gun and shoots him. Garrick adds that Treadway's body was maintained in a cortonic acid matrix back in the hub to preserve the cells. She reveals that they are attempting to comprehend an infinite skills, because Treadway pushed them into superhuman territory by making them capable of controlling energy. They put Evan through a variety of concentrate training, so that he can fully regain his lost memories, master his talents, and discover where the egg is. Evan ought to be able to do the same. He receives instruction from Trace, and when he later faces Kavik, his understanding of martial arts helps him to quickly and easily defeat him. Flashes of Treadway fighting someone on the bridge keep resurfacing as he struggles. Additionally, they attach him to a machine that is supposed to stimulate his mind and force him to exercise vigorously because organs also store memories. Evan comes upon Kavik working on the organization's armory one afternoon. Kavik informs Evan that he has successfully reverse-engineered Bathurst's unique weapon. You can kill infinites, but their thoughts will continue to exist in other bodies. Bathurst has developed a rifle that locks the soul in a computer chip, after implanting a bullet in the head, preventing it from reincarnating. Already, this route has led to the loss of almost 200 believers. After that, Evan sees Nora and learns that she has photos of each of her prior incarnations. A portrait of Abel and Leona is shown, and Nora explains that the two have been together forever because they are so in love that they have decided on a location to meet each time they reincarnate. Unfortunately, Abel was wounded by Bathurst's unique weapon in Mexico and hasn't been able to reincarnate since. When they reconnect Evan to the machine the following time, he finds himself as Treadway engaged in a fight on a bridge with a man who turns out to be Bathurst in a prior incarnation. The egg wasn't in Treadway's baggage when Bathurst pushed him off the bridge after exchanging many blows with him. They need to disconnect Evan since his vital signs spike out of nowhere. Garrick believes Evan's mind is damaged as a result of the collision and the steel plate, which means the memory isn't flowing freely. There is no other option, they will have to take a chance by leaving the hub and asking the artisan for assistance. Bathurst orders Shin to locate Evan quickly while also adding Porter's soul chip to his collection. After the team departs, a group of Shin's goons sneak into the hub while wearing flying suits and start shooting about to frighten any workers they can locate. Garrick tells Bathurst that they once dated in a previous life when Bathurst is also there. She initially is reluctant to speak, but when Bathurst threatens her helper, she is forced to. The team eventually arrives at a posh casino where they come across the artisan conducting experiments on a body. The artisan is glad to assist and unveils a unique device that can reboot Evan's mind, but could also kill him when he learns that Evan is supposed to be Treadway. Evan first panics, but he has no option because they would all perish if Bathurst is not stopped. Evan enters the water-filled gadget, 
while Bathurst also arrives at the casino and uses a camera hack to spy on the team. Soon after, Evan's mind starts to flicker with images of the automobile chase in Mexico. The artisan extends the duration of the experiment while waiting for a sign, pushing Evan to the limit until there is no longer a pulse. The team removes Evan from the machine right away and believes he is dead. Evan's mind continues to search through all of his earlier memories until it discovers the solution as Nora sobs and tries to perform chest compressions. He stands up out of nowhere, panting and exhausted, but also declaring that he has his memories back and reaffirming that he is in fact Treadway's reincarnation. Treadway put the egg inside his wound while he was driving, so it turns out that when he stated search inside, he meant inside his own body. Bathurst hears all of this and instantly sends his goons to steal Treadway's body. When the team tries to flee the casino, Shin appears out of nowhere and shoots Evan and Trace. The group rushes to the lift where Trace perishes as additional thugs approach. Kavik, who is devastated by this defeat, resolves to stay behind and continue fighting to give his friend some time. Having gained entry to the artisan's arsenal, Kavik waits for the henchmen to blow open the door before engaging them in open combat and murdering the majority of them. Then he charges in and engages Bathurst in a hand-to-hand -hand battle trading blows all around the room. Unfortunately, Kovic isn't powerful enough, and Bathurst uses a special bullet to murder him. Evan loses consciousness due to blood loss in the casino parking lot, so Nora leaves him with the artisan, while she goes outside to face Bathurst alone. The henchmen succeed in taking Treadway's body from the hub. A few hours later, they deliver it to Bathurst's estate in Scotland. Bathurst opens it right away and eventually discovers the egg inside. Evan awakens in the artisan safe house and sees that his friend has attended to his wound. Evan wants to depart rather than take a break to recover when he learns Nora is out battling by herself. In Scotland, Nora approaches Bathurst's home and attempts to shoot him from a distance, but he avoids the blow just in time and sends Shin out as he turns on a unique device he uses to command his drones. When Nora spots one of them, she shoots a hook at it, allowing the person to jump off and land safely in the forest before starting to flee the drones firing. She is soon pursued by a group of henchmen, and she shoots one of them to take his weapon, but no matter how many she kills, the others keep coming. When Bathurst's plane is prepared to take off at that point, he ditches the drones and takes the egg with him. Nora discovers herself encircled, but fortunately Evan arrives in a car to save her, as the artisan fires at the men from a helicopter, setting off a few explosions. Shin shoots at Evan and Nora as they are driving towards the house, flipping the vehicle. Both of them are still alive, but Nora is now hurt. When more henchmen show there, the pair proceeds cautiously while shooting and punching any man who approaches, murdering each one until none are left. When they see Bathurst's plane take off at that same moment, Nora sends Evan after it while remaining behind to destruct the soul chips. Shin emerges and starts combat with Nora as she approaches the house. Because of her injury, Nora finds it difficult at first, but she quickly gains the upper hand and uses a knife to fatally stab Shin. More henchmen pursue her at that point, but the artisan shoots them all as she returns in the chopper. He then assists Nora in entering and detonating explosives on the chip cabinet. Nora refuses to go with the artisan because she wants to be here to set those spirits free. She makes the house explode after the artisan leaves and says she'll meet her boyfriend at the customary location. Evan follows Bathurst while riding his bike, climbing the bluff, and jumps off to land on top of the aircraft while clinging to it with his katana. The plane begins to lose control as the bike slides off and collides with one of the engines. In an effort to make Evan fall, Bathurst takes control of the aircraft and makes it move erratically. Evan is struggling to maintain his grip when he recalls what Treadway accomplished in a past life. Drawing on that strength, he shakes his hands and manipulates energy to keep the jet flying steadily without the engine. Evan then opens the top hatch on the plane with his katana and climbs inside. He stumbles to the ground as he prepares to smash the egg, since Bathurst apparently shot him in the head. Evan, however, quickly gets to his feet and removes the bullet painlessly, while reminding Bathurst that he is wearing a steel plate on his head. The males then engage in a violent brawl, trading blows all over the place. Evan is now able to stop bullets with his katana, because he remembers all of his abilities. He then makes another attempt to stab the egg, but Bathurst swiftly intervenes and disarms him. The men in the room began to tremble as the broken turbine finally gave out, and the plane began to plummet. Evan defeats Bathurst and reclaims the katana when he attempts to kill him with it. Evan jumps for the egg-filled box that falls off the shattered turbine hole created when the plane makes a terrible flip. Bathurst rushes after him, and the two men trade blows for a while, before Evan knocks him away and goes on to save the egg by concealing it inside his body. Then, in order to prevent him from ever reincarnating, he shoots Bathurst with his special weapon after stealing it and stabbing him with his katana. Evan drowns as he and the egg plummet to the bottom of the sea, 
but he is unconcerned because he will reincarnate and the egg will be secure in this way. Years later, Nora and her boyfriend both reincarnate and live new lives until their memories of being teenagers resurface. They can renew their connection by running into each other at the same place. Evan reincarnates as well and develops into an outstanding martial artist in Indonesia. The artist stops by one day and leaves Evan's katana there for when the boy starts remembering. The boy, who now has access to his memories, queries the artisan as to why it took so long 